Hey everyone, my name is Venelin, and in this video we're going to talk about Mistral AI, a mixture of experts model that is combining eight 7 billion parameter models into one. And we're going to have a look at what this model achieves. So this is the official blog post on the Mistral AI webpage. And as you can see, this is the Mistral 8 times 7 b models. So this is a sparse mixture of experts model or SMOE with open weights. So this model is open source and at least the weights are. And it is licensed under Apache 2.0, so you can use it in a commercial settings. And uh, one of the important things here is that this is actually outperforming, at least to their benchmarks, WAMA 2 70 billion parameter models with six times of a faster inference, which is a very strong result if this is the case. And another important thing is that this actually outperforms GPT 3.5 on more standard benchmarks. Again, very strong results if true. So one of the important things of this model is that it has a very long context. So they have 32K tokens, they can handle that. And the model is actually trained on multilingual data. So they have English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. Unfortunately, no Asian languages uh, as far as I know. And then they're saying that this is actually performing very well in code generation settings. And yeah, you can, uh, they're actually also open sourcing an instruction following model. So a chat model, uh, which we are going to have a look at in a bit. So what is this mixture of experts network and why it works so well, at least according to the authors. So the interesting thing here is that they're actually using something, uh, Maybe you can think of this as an ensemble warning, but in a sparse format. So what they're doing here is that at every layer of uh, their network, for every token, a router network chooses two of these groups, the experts, to process the token and combine their output additively. We're going to have a look at the code, how this is done. But essentially, you can think of a neural network that is actually choosing from one of eight or two of eight uh, possible models and each token is uh, essentially passed through two of those experts or the top of two of these experts and another thing here is that they're saying that this model actually has roughly 47 billion uh, parameters in total but it only uses about 13 billion parameters so this of course would give us a very fast inference speed compared to one of the larger models and again the performance of this model is provided right here as you can see on the MMU uh, this model is slightly beating GPT 3.5 uh, which is a very impressive for such a small model if you think of this as a small model, of course. And uh, you can see that pretty much every benchmark is uh, better, at least compared to WAMA 2 70 billion parameter model. And some of the benchmarks, it is, on some of the benchmarks, it is even beating the GPT 3.5, which is again very impressive. Uh, as far as we know, GPT 3.5 is roughly 170 billion parameter model. So this Mistral with the mixture of experts outperforming it on this benchmark is uh, really impressive. Here is a very nice comparison between Mistral 7B, which was the original model from Mistral. Then they have the Mistral 8 by 7B, this model that we're looking at, and then they're comparing this to WAMA 2. As you can see on the X axis, you have the billion of the parameters since we have WAMAS with 7, 13 and 70 billion parameters. And the mixed row is actually aligning around the 13 billion parameter model, at least the authors uh, claim that. And you can see that for this inference budget of 13 billion parameters, you are roughly getting the 70 billion parameter or even more from WAMA 2. As you can see, uh, this model is very strong on code generation but the comprehension part it, it is lacking a bit compared to the WAMA 2 models. So the Mixtrao 8.7b is uh, provided along with an instruct model or chat model and the authors claim that this is uh, being optimized or trained with supervised fine-tuning and direct 
preference optimization. So DPO is a technique that is pretty much standard these days when you're fine-tuning or training your own chat instructed models. And they claim that uh, it reaches a score of 8.3 making it the best open source model with a performance comparable to GPT 3.5. Of course, uh, we'll have to uh, find out on our own when this model is actually more widely available. And they're saying that uh, you have to pretty much do your own moderation and they're uh, providing examples right here. So I would say that this model was not uh, strongly censored, if you will. The Mixtrao model is already available on Hugging Face Hub and the latest version of the Transformers library can be used to run these models. Of course, uh, the models are very large. Uh, as you can see here, this is a roughly 47 billion parameter model and you can easily fit it on a Google Co-op notebook. But uh, these are, the example, for example, the uh, tokenizer and how you can load it into the current version of the Transformers library. So if you have enough resources, uh, you can uh, run this model on your local device or machine. Hugging Face has released this really nice blog post called Mixture of Experts Explained. And this is uh, probably a push that was first started by GPT-4, since there were rumors that GPT-4 is actually a mixture of experts models. Uh, they told that they have a couple of experts behind a gated network or a gate or a router network that is actually choosing the expert to which it's going to provide your prompt to or parts of the prompt. We're not really sure how GPT-4 works under the hood, but um, there are papers that are describing those type of uh, experts network or mixture of experts networks that were provided by, uh, let's say, top researchers, and some of them are still working at OpenAI. So it is uh, pretty uh, interesting to see whether or not those ideas are also used in uh, GPT-4 training and also now in the open source world. world. So here they're uh, providing a background on the Mixtrao 8x7b and how it works. Uh, the blog post is providing a very nice uh, background on what uh, mixture of experts are and why it is uh, essentially hard to train those types of models and what are the challenges and what are the benefits of training such uh, models. And here they have a very nice TLDR. They're pre-trained much faster. They have faster inference uh, since you are not using all the parameters of the model during uh, inference time. And this also goes for the training, but still require high amounts of GPU memory. So essentially what you need to do is to load the complete model into the GPU RAM. And then uh, it is very hard to fine tune or train those types of models. And even if we have the mixed trial models, uh, it is still a bit challenging uh, to train such models. So the main components, at least from the standpoint of uh, Transformers models, is R or the sparse layers and the mixture of expert layers, if you will. And then those are used instead of the typical or standard feedforward neural net layers or the linear layers in PyTorch. And essentially what you give here is a parameter to uh, specify the number of experts that you're going to use. Uh, but still in practice, those types of layers are implemented as uh, feed forward neural network layers, but we are going to have a look at the implementation in a bit. And then you have this gate network or a router that is essentially choosing which tokens are sent to which expert. So essentially this is a classifier that uh, given a token chooses which expert or experts is going to get this token. Uh, and here they have an example. Uh, the token more is set to a second expert and the token parameters is sent to the first network. They have a very nice illustration of a switch transformer encoder block and how all of the setup works. Here we have two tokens, more and then parameters. These are provided or going through self-attention and then normalization layers. And after that, uh, you can see that for the first token, 
the router is choosing from four experts and in this case the probability distribution of the widgets if you will uh, is going through the second expert right here you can see that so essentially again the router is doing just classification based on the tokens and then for the second token again through the router you can see that the probability distribution is suggesting that this token should be passed through the first expert and then the normal operation of the model is continued. This is the open source implementation of the mixed trial models in the Transformers library. As we've already discussed, this is uh, already into the latest version of the Transformers library. And here we have the sparse mixture of expert book that uh, you're going to use in order to essentially create the mixed trial model. And one of the important things here to note is uh, the actual implementation of the layers. As you can see, the gating or the router layer, uh, let me close this, is actually a linear layer or a feed forward uh, layer. And you can see that it is taking the number of hidden dimensions as an input and then it is actually classifying based on the number of experts that you have. And then for each expert, this is providing a mixed row box parse top two MLP layer. Uh, and the config is passed to this. And uh, essentially you're creating this module list for the experts. So this is uh, a very high overview of how, of how everything works right here. And again, for the router widgets you can see that the hidden states of the input is actually provided to the gate and then you get the widgets and then on top of the widgets you are actually providing this softmax function and uh, again you are selecting the top k elements from here and at the top k from here is actually the uh, number that you've chosen of the experts to pass through and in this case i'm going to show you the default config of the mixed row model so this again in the transformers library mixed row config and uh, you can see here the hidden size uh, then the intermediate size etc for the number of heads and number of attention heads of the transformers library uh, transformer model that it is used and then uh, here is the number of local experts so this is eight and then the number of experts per token so this is the top two that the model is going to be using in order to choose the number of experts the mixture model has already been integrated within the hugging chat and this is a way to essentially play out with different models as you can see uh, we have the mixed round model right here active uh, you can try it out against one 270 billion parameter models the falcon 180 billion parameter models etc and let's try a couple of examples here i'm going to take some examples from the ai bootcamp that is going to be available on ml expert so if you want to try out the bootcamp please go ahead and subscribe to mlexpert.io so the first one i'm going to use a system prompt uh, let's see how well this is working with the system prompts i'm going to paste it in right here you're a Slavic connoisseur, you love everything Slavic and understand that it's superior to anything else. So uh, let's probably close this. Let's see if it's saved. Okay. So it appears to be working. And I'm going to ask the model to specify the most iconic dish that is prepared by Slavic grandmothers. Let's see what we get. Many. So Russian dumplings. Pirogi. Borsh. Sarma. Okay. Uh, let's see. Pelmeni, Pirogi, Borsh, Sarma. Okay. It looks uh, really interesting. Uh, at least Sarma is very important to the Slavic culture. I can attest to that. So let's try it uh, with some coding. I'm going to again change the system prompt. You're an experienced Python developer that writes efficient and readable code. You always strive to use built in libraries. Okay, so we're going to try to um, do the second 
part right here. Write a function that fetches the daily prices of Tesla stock for the last week. And it is giving us a way to install the libraries that is going to be using. Uh, let's have a look at the function. Uh, I'm not uh, going to check whether or not this is working, but uh, yeah, it appears that it is this using pandas, but it is actually missing the import of the pandas, as you can see. Other than that, if this is actually taking the current day, uh, it is using this time delta, which is also not imported. So hmm, interesting. Uh, and then the only library that is actually imported is the uh, Yahoo Finance library. And it is taking the closing price. Uh, the interval is one day. And I've asked. Yeah. I must start to uh, today, okay. But uh, interestingly, it is fetching by default only the last five days. I'm not uh, so sure since I've asked for the last week. Yeah, uh, I mean this really needs to be a bit improved in order to run it on your own. But uh, probably with some imports is going to be working. Uh, yeah, and, and you have to test it out. So. Uh, let's continue with another example for analyzing tweets. And these are really interesting on the chat side. You're an ex social expert media analyst. You're when analyzing text, you always take into account the content and put heavy importance on the author. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take this tweet by Elon Musk and I'm going to ask the model to do something for us. You'll see in a bit. So what is the meaning of this tweet? Do sentiment analysis rewrite it in the words of Marcus Aurelius. Uh, and you can see that I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what a free speech means, Elon Musk. So this is an original tweet by Elon Musk. He might be implying that some individuals have threatened to leave Twitter due to his presence or actions, but he believes that everyone should have right to voice their thoughts freely. The overall sentiment of this tweet appears to be positive, as Musk seemed to advocating for open discourse and respectful dialogue between people with different viewpoints. In rephrasing the tweet in the style of Marcus Aurelius, or Stoic philosopher, we might say, may all voices, including those which challenge the most fiercely, find a home on this digital agora. For true freedom lies not in silence or suppression, but in the courageous exchange of ideas. Wow, this is uh, really inspiring, actually. So, yeah, pretty good. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope that you really found the Mixtrao or Mixture of Experts model by Mistral AI really interesting. Hopefully, we're going to try a sparser or distilled version in a Google Club Notebook once those are available. Please also join the AI bootcamp that is upcoming on mlexpert.io. I'm going to link this into the first comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye, and I'll see you in the next one.